Anyways, hi Libra, this is going to be your reading. This is for Libra placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles and pick what side of the story you're on. Okay, so Libra placements, what do you need to know right now? What do you need to know? What do Libra placements need to know? Happy Aries season, by the way. So we have denial. Failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles, or addictions. Okay, so, yeah, past life connection, Gemini have this. You can have Gemini placements, or you could be a Gemini with Libra placements, or you're dealing with somebody that does. Um, somebody's in denial of something. I feel like somebody can't accept that something could be over. Somebody's in a, a, a very negative like there's uh, unhealthy cycles and patterns. Somebody can have, if somebody here could be in denial that they have an addiction as well. Okay, what else? Or someone around them has an addiction. Sacrifice, child. Giving up something now for a future reward. So we're going to see because in Gemini's reading, somebody was trying to sacrifice them. So we're going to see what that is. But Y'all may have, somebody's going to have to give up something or someone that they may be addicted to for something else. Somebody's going to have to make a sacrifice. Retreat, time spent alone, reflect on past and current situations. What else for you for Christmas? So some of you guys are going to have to let go of one thing or one person to receive something or someone else. Or this is somebody else in your energy. Okay. And then we have uh, resolving issues, solving inner conflict with others, healing past trauma. So some of y'all could have like a, a really strong religious background. Okay, this, this looks like God is like trying to, you know, you know how you be in church and the pastor put, your, put their hand on somebody's forehead and they go into the Holy Ghost. Somebody here can have a really religious background. Somebody here can go to church. Or this is just uh, you guys could be really spiritual. But I feel like you are going to be uh, resolving something within yourself. Something that could have traumatized you, that could have had you in a bind. You could have formulated some type of addiction behind it. Whether it's codependency, drinking, smoking, negative self-talk, aggression. Um, any, whatever, whatever it was. Whatever the addiction is. Control. Okay, we have abundance. An inflow of money, love, or reward. So that's what you have coming in once you sacrifice what needs to be sacrificed here. We're going to see what that is. What's denial? Okay, Ten of Wands in reverse, Saturn and Sagittarius. So somebody here could be in denial that something's weighing them down. Okay, somebody's unable to put something down. It's like somebody can't put the cup down, they can't put the drugs down, they can't put the blunt down, the cigarette down. They could they can't put down a certain person, they can't put down a certain mindset, a certain behavior, a certain lifestyle, a certain thought process, a certain pattern. Somebody's about to have like a nervous somebody here is is this denial is about to have somebody in a nervous breakdown. Somebody here could be mentally scattered with the page of swords in reverse. Somebody's constantly somebody's constantly with the page of swords in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse. Somebody's constantly living, reliving the past or living in the past. Somebody here could also be holding a grudge. Okay. Yeah, the world here. So somebody here could even be stuck in some type of portal energetically. What's denial? Somebody's with this page of swords. Somebody's also not learning from something. Denial. Yeah, nine of swords is here. Mars and Gemini energy. Somebody here could be in denial about having a mental disorder. Yeah, five of wands in reverse. Saturn and uh, Leo. There could have been something that traumatized. Somebody here can have PTSD. Somebody here is also paranoid. Even I'm getting like schizophrenic even. Somebody could be having a nervous breakdown, or this is what they're trying to inflict on you. Five of wands in reverse. Somebody here could want to apologize, be nice. This could be a family member, a friend, someone in your neighborhood. You may have a child with this person if there's kids involved. If you don't have no kids or it's not about that, this could be, you know, a friend, a family member, a neighbor, a co-worker, whoever. 
I feel like somebody wants to make amends. Somebody here could have been really messy. Something could have gotten out of hand. This five of wands in reverse could also be someone that's having um, some type of conflict within themselves. Yeah, queen of cups in reverse, the nine of cups in reverse, the moon. Something is going on with somebody's emotional state, their subconscious. Or this is what somebody's trying to, somebody's trying to psychologically break somebody down. Somebody here could be psychologically abusive. Somebody here could have also been abused by a mother figure, a babysitter, and they could be they could have suppressed that for so long that they could be in denial about it. Somebody, something is somebody there's something on somebody's subconscious that they're being haunted by. Somebody here could be haunted by what they did to you. This person could have played could have taken your kindness for weakness. Maybe you had a soft spot for this person. With that page of cups we saw earlier, the queen of cups, this could be uh, your your child's mother or father. The Knight of Cups in Reverse, February Pisces or Aquarius. And we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June Cancer, June Gemini energy. The Moon here, Cancer, uh, Pisces energy. If this is not a mother figure or father figure, this could be your mother or father. Somebody could be getting served with papers. Yeah, Queen of Swords in Reverse, September Libra, September Virgo. Somebody's very toxic. Very toxic. Or they have someone like this in their energy. Somebody's mind is scattered. Their emotions are scattered. This is what they wanted for you. What's this ten of wands in reverse? Somebody could be. You guys could be feeling hypersensitive at this time. Yeah, somebody's trying to make. Somebody has something that they need. Something or someone that they're gonna have to let go and surrender. With this uh, hangman here, Pisces. They're gonna have to. Somebody's gonna have to make a sacrifice because something is causing a blockage. Something or somebody, something or someone is in the way. Ace of Cups here. Yeah, if this is about nude, somebody here could drink a lot. Somebody here can have a strong connection to birds. Okay, you guys could like flowers, orchids. I'm getting roses, lilies. Somebody's favorite color could be pink, turquoise, or teal. Maybe green. That's the, like giving me heart chakra energy. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. There could be a, a lack of trust in the situation. Somebody's in disharmony with themselves. You could be crying a lot, Libra. I feel like somebody's like breaking down. Lovers in reverse, yeah, it's like a it's disharmony within oneself or a connection. What's the lovers in reverse? Yeah, ace of swords in reverse. A lack of clarity, animosity. The ace of cups could be like renewal. It's like the intuition is the sacral energy. So somebody here could be, there could be something within your sacral chakra that you may need to clear out. Especially if you're holding on to resentment, grief, pain. You may need to like, the Ace of Cups could be like a renewal, a cleanse. You may need to cleanse somebody out your energy so you can get this new beginning. Because the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, those are like new, those are like potential. It's new beginnings. It's new offers. This could be in love, money, career, whatever. The Ace of Swords is in reverse. So that's upright. It's about clarity, truth success a breakthrough somebody's emotions could be clouding their judgment some y'all you, you're having a hard time assessing your intuition here for some of you or this is someone else ace of swords in reverse yeah the sun in reverse leo energy you or someone can have leo in your chart there's a lack of clarity here Something is trying to come in with this Ace of Cups, but you're going to have to lay something to rest and make room and space with that Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody's ego could be getting in the way. Something to do with somebody's inner child, okay? 
Somebody also could be in denial about their sexuality as well, too. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be getting bad news and money matters. This could be something this could have something to do with the legal situation. Justice is here, Libra energy. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be coming out victorious in a situation. Or you're getting good karma. For you've been doing if you've been doing the right thing, you're gonna be coming out on top. Page of Pentacles could be procrastination. Uh, it could be laziness. This can also be somebody that's abusing divination. Somebody could be trying to somebody trying to take something from somebody. The sun here in the works. Okay, hi, okay, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Somebody's trying to fuck with your sacral and your heart chakra. The Empress is the sacral and the heart chakra. If, the, if for some of you guys, if you've been having issues with fertility, I feel like that's, this could be somebody's child's mother or somebody's mother. Somebody could be in denial about their child's mother, their spouse, or their own mother, or this is you. Somebody here could have, they could be pregnant and they're like still drinking or smoking or doing something here. And somebody's still in denial. This is what somebody's parent did, mother did when they were pregnant with them or whatever. Somebody has some mother issues, mother wounds here with that son in reverse and the empress. There's something about somebody's identity with the son in reverse. That's about the identity, somebody's consciousness. Somebody, for some of you guys, somebody what's this not one what's this empress real quick who's that okay three of swords four of swords saturn and libra jupiter and libra yeah nine of pentacles in reverse the eight of pentacles in reverse the magician in reverse queen of wands yeah somebody's trying to curse someone money the love life everything Somebody lives beyond their means. Somebody's trying to look. Somebody here's trying to appear as they're the empress, but they're not. Or somebody doesn't want you to appear as the empress, but you are. Some of you guys can have a strong connection to do doves or ducks, I'm getting. Three of swords. Somebody's mother. Somebody here could be. Something could be going on with somebody's heart. Okay. Something's going on with a mother figure. Somebody can't see something or they're refusing to see something. I feel like somebody was offered with that Ace of Cups, the, youth, the divine was trying to give somebody something and they didn't see it or they couldn't see it. For whatever reason, they couldn't see it. This person could have hurt you. Somebody's up in your head. They're overthinking. Somebody's heart could be closed off. Or this is what somebody is trying to get. Somebody's trying to get somebody to close off their heart. Somebody can have heart issues. What's the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords? Okay, two of pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. Somebody trying to bring something back into balance. So this could be you needing to bring your emotions or with or something or something about yourself back into balance. Somebody here could have been overly optimistic about something, but I feel like they're getting denied. Somebody's getting denied something. I don't know if they were trying to take your energy, use it for themselves or whatever the fuck, but somebody's getting denied something. Something is not gonna work as like they think they like they think it is. Somebody may need to somebody some of you guys could be in the beauty industry. You can do hair, skin, skincare, hair, um, nails. You can also be like doulas for some of you guys, okay? Somebody here could work two jobs with that two of pentacles. For those of you who are having a hard time about like getting your money, for some of you guys, in order to balance out your abundance, you may be needing to connect with your Venus energy more. So whatever your Venus sign is, you're being told to connect more with that energy to balance out your finances or to balance something out within yourself. What's that uh, nine of swords here? Yeah, queen of cups in reverse. Somebody's overly emotional there. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June, Cancer, June, Gemini. The four of swords here, somebody could be overthinking something. Somebody's thinking long and hard. Somebody could be playing around in your dream state. 
something's also fluctuating or it's off and on, up and down. Y'all, you guys could need more balance in your life or within your energy, within yourself. Also, you guys are being told to stay open, flexible, and adaptable to something. Queen of Cups is somebody that is, some y'all need to pour back into yourselves. You really do some, really practice some self-care. Okay, I'm getting somebody that needs to really practice self-care. Not just like getting your hair and nails done, but like some emotional self-care. Some of you guys, somebody here gives too much of themselves with this Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody could be needy, codependent, clingy, spiteful, vindictive. Somebody's haunted by some, what's this Queen of Cups in reverse? Yeah, Three of Cups here, Mercury and Cancer. The tower, something could be being exposed or being brought down, an empire, a, a legacy, whatever something's been built on that was that was faulty or wasn't real or it wasn't built on integrity is being is crumbling. What's this who what's this three of cups? Okay, the hermit in reverse Virgo energy. Some of you guys are isolating yourselves too much. Or this is what somebody wants you to do. They don't want you to trust nobody. They don't want you to be open, make new friends. Or somebody here could have a hard time making friends. I feel like somebody's in denial you that about somebody around them having a mental disorder. Somebody here could be like schizophrenic, paranoid. Somebody here could feel alone even amongst... Even being around people, somebody still feels alone. Some of you guys could be worried about a mother figure, okay? Something could be going on with your mother. Your mother could have heart issues, or you could be this mother figure with heart issues. Something could be up in the air about somebody's health, about a pregnancy for some of you guys with the empress. And it could be because somebody was indulging. If somebody's pregnant, something could be going on with a child because they were partying or still drinking, still smoking, still doing some type of substance abuse for some of y'all. The hermit in reverse. Somebody lacks awareness. Yeah. Somebody is like paranoid about something with that nine of swords and the hermit in reverse. What's this? Uh, it could be a third party that this person got pregnant or this person's spouse or baby mother or their mother. The hermit in reverse. Yeah, the emperor in reverse. Somebody may not be the father of a child or they could be having paternity issues. Somebody's in denial. Okay, or somebody could have been lying about a pregnancy. I don't know. Somebody may not be sure if they're pregnant or sure if they're the father or sure, or sure about fertility here uh, or whatever the situation is. The emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Somebody, yeah, mm. Okay, so the lover's in reverse, the son in reverse, the emperor in reverse. So there's something either about a father wound that's here or somebody being too passive about taking action on something, a project, whatever you've been procrastinating on. The emperor in reverse could be a lack of stability, a lack of structure. Somebody needs to um, balance going out and spending some time to themselves. There's a balance that needs to be had in somebody's life because it could be affecting somebody's like nervous system for sure. Who's this emperor in reverse? What's this? Could be a mother or a father. Yeah, the tower. Somebody's having a tower. Whatever somebody didn't want to see, whatever somebody was in denial about, whatever somebody was trying to juggle and keep together, somebody's getting bad news. It could be about their, their material matters. Somebody could have been trying to take something from you. Uh, justice will be served. Yeah, you are. You will be. You will come out on top. Some of you guys are standing up for yourself. You you fought back with something. Aries and Scorpio energy with the Tower. Heavy Aries here. What's this Tower? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So you guys could be the ones experiencing a tower, 
because you guys could be not acting on something that you need to be acting on and you may have to lose something in order for you to act on something here the towers there could be some type of sudden sudden and, and this could be a surprise or something really from the universe okay this is really something from the divine something is divinely orchestrated to bring in a new opportunity what's this ace of pentacles about some of you guys may have to make a big purchase ace of pentacles Okay, Knight of Swords is here. Yeah, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity that's gonna come out of nowhere. Okay, uh, Knight of Swords is here. This could be help that's coming out of that. Something is coming out of thin air. Literally, you're making something come out of thin air by not having to do too much. For some of you guys, you need to find a balance of your masculine and feminine energies. Not have not you know so that way you don't you know, you don't feel like you have to do too much to make something happen or to make things happen. Knight of Swords is seizing an opportunity. Uh, Gemini Taurus energy here. Somebody could be a May Taurus, May Gemini. Yeah, King of Cups upright, Ace of Wands in reverse. So this could be an opportunity that you guys need to take action on and seize. Y'all been going back and forth about doing something, doing the comparisons, weighing your options. It's time to it's time to take action on something. I think a lot of y'all are being too passive. If there's an opportunity that's coming about, whether it's from it's something material, whether it's for your home, yourself a connection, just life in general, you need, you're going to have to take action. The Knight of Swords is very smart. They're a go-getter. They make things happen. They, they actually, they get, they actually use the knowledge and information that they get. They don't just sit on it. They actually take action on it. So some of you guys need to take action on some type of idea, project, or knowledge that you have. Or somebody could be coming in to help you. This could be a spirit guide. This could even be someone that's passed on. A grandfather, grandmother for some of you guys, or a father figure or a mother figure. Knight of Swords here. Yeah, Five of Swords. So somebody could be coming in trying to offer you something or present something. But yeah, you're going to have to, you could be a bit confused about something or somebody's trying to confuse you. Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarius. Somebody could be, somebody could have said something really, somebody could have like said something really nasty or they could have did something really nasty to you that really hurt you. Somebody did or said something out of emotion and now they regret it, they're haunted by it. They don't know how, they're trying to figure out how to fix something. Hurting you hurt them more. They could, even if they try to act like they're okay, six of wands, they're not. Hurting you hurt them, it, it hurt them more than it hurt you. Or if this is going to hurt them more than it's going to hurt you. Somebody did something way too impulsive. Somebody saw an opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles. And with this, the Emperor in reverse, they didn't, somebody didn't really consider something. They just went for it. Somebody's too impulsive. What's the sacrifice and they're too much in their ego? Giving up something now for a future reward. This person could have tried to sacrifice you for that ace of pentacles. But they're getting the page of pentacles in reverse. Bad news. And they're going to be losing money with that four of pentacles in reverse. It's like jokes on you. The universe did it. The universe did this exactly as they were supposed to. Some of you guys could be taking somebody to court, or this could be something legal that somebody's going on. Something that's going on here with sacrifice. But you will get justice regardless. But their spiritual court or, or real 3D court, you will get justice. Sacrifice. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Somebody could have did something for money. Somebody tried to take something from you. Seven of Swords. Moon and Aquarius. This is somebody that's trying to take something. Somebody here could have got caught. Somebody may have to confess something that they did in the past. You could have caught this person in a lie. I feel like somebody's trying to come in and act like they're gonna. This person causes problems and they try to act and then they, they try to come in and act like they're saving the day. Somebody's a control freak. This could be somebody's parent or a parental figure or someone that you're close to, a friend, whoever. 
with this gray hair, it, it, it could be a parental figure. Or this is someone in somebody else's energy that does this. King of Pentacles is here, so they can look like they're a hero. Somebody wants to be heroic, or or they want you to see them as heroic, but they're the Queen of Cups, King of they're the Queen of Cups and Emperor in reverse. They're controlling, manipulative, spiteful, vengeful, vindictive. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, April, Aries, April, Taurus. Somebody tried to sacrifice you or do something for money. What sacrifice? Yeah, King of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Somebody can want to uh, open up about their feelings for some of you guys. This could be a new love interest you're dealing with. October Libra, October Scorpio for some of you guys. Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Somebody here could be a uh, bi bisexual or into same sex what's the king of pentacles yeah three of pentacles mars and capricorn this was like a, a a group effort something was a group effort there's three people here there's a three of cups and there's and the three of pentacles something was a group effort you could be seeing three 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 and like i said in your last reading all of them is you is is you versus all these people and they still can't take you down whatever plan or strategy they had it didn't work it failed Somebody here is losing more money. Whatever they thought they were going to do to get more from you, they're going to be there losing more or from whatever. What's the three of pentacles? Yeah, look at this. Six of wands, Jupiter and Leo. Yeah, somebody here could try to sacrifice you for fame, recognition, stardom. I'm getting some of you guys need to relax your shoulders. Your shoulders could be hunched up a lot because of stress. So, you know, make sure like you're pressing your shoulders down. Especially if you're having pain there. Some of you guys may need to do some acupuncture. Because for some of you guys, because acupuncture is really good at, 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 you know, Reiki is really good too for getting, removing stuck energy. Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo. Uh, and, and Leo. Somebody wanted to come out on top with something. Some of you guys could be getting a promotion, raise, recognition, a bonus. I, I'm getting more so a promotion or a raise or a new job. Some of you guys are having a new contract or you have people that want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. They want to hire you or they want to pay you for a service or want you to be part of their team your money is going to be looking good but you're going to have to sacrifice something or this is what somebody tried to do sacrifice you for fame and some type of contract yeah eight of pentacles in reverse somebody could be in a dead-end job a dead-end career i feel like for some of you guys every time this person gets like a new job or they they start feeling themselves they they turn their back on you or they start acting funny or being or just moving a certain way is you're like a mother, something about your energy is very healing to this person, very motherly, but they come in and they deplete it, whether it's sexually, financially, emotionally, mentally, and whatever. And then when they start feeling more secure within themselves again, they start acting like they shit don't stink. And then they lose it again. And then they come back. It's like a, it's like a repeating cycle. No, six of wands. The death in reverse, Scorpio energy. This person is never going to change. Strength here, Leo energy. They're never going to change. You can have Scorpio. Some, you or somebody can have Scorpio or Leo in their chart. And, you, and that's basically sacrificing you. They're basically coming in to use you to feel them up so they can start feeling confident again. And they end up in the king of pentacles. They, they're not an emperor because the emperor's in reverse. You're an emperor. So you're all the queens in the deck. This person, the most this person will ever be is a king of something. They'll never be an emperor. They come in, they use your energy, get you all distorted. They have your masculine and your feminine energies all out of balance. And then they end up becoming, they end up something about you giving into this person, letting them be in your space and just latch on to you. It, 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 it fuels them. Things start work. They get they get new jobs. They get more praise. They get a bonus. They get recognition. They get they get they get they elevate in some kind of way. But they're not doing the work. They're not making the changes. It's all for your energy. You're the sacrifice. So if you keep taking this person back, if you keep letting this person be in your energy, they're gonna do the same thing again. Or cross watcher. This could be a Libra. Take it how it resonates. 
even arguing with people creates a contract, an energy cord. So try not to even argue with certain people. Death in reverse. If somebody was trying to comfort your position, take you out, trick you out your spot, that's not going to happen. Death in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Cups. February Pisces or Aquarius. Yeah, this person tries to come in. They try to, you know. This person tries to, like, I guess, date you or court you or be nice or negotiate. Some of you guys could be negotiating for some type of contract, business, home, work, with love or whatever. But there's something hidden. There's somebody's a, the, somebody's a liar. The moon, the page of swords in reverse. They're not telling you everything. This person's going to try to come in quickly and offer you some type of new beginning, renewal of love, money, a business, a contract. It, there's something that they're not being honest with you about. So if it's anybody from your past, I would say no. Knight of Cups. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Whatever. And for some of you guys, you're listening to, if you follow your heart, you'll be able to know, you'll be able to sense something. Page of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, you guys can have like really good ideas. You know, you could be really creative with that Empress energy, this Knight of Cups, but you're procrastinating on something or you're not, you're having a hard time bringing something into reality because you know, you got to take, you need, pra you got to take practical steps. You can't just sit around and wait for something to fall out your lap. You got to actually take the steps to make changes, to put endings to certain things. That's why the sacrifice is here. Give up something now for a future reward. There's going to be something or someone or a part of yourself that you're going to have to sacrifice. And you could be procrastinating on that. But this page of pentacles in reverse, what's that? Yeah, seven of pentacles. It's like analysis paralysis. Uh, Saturn and Taurus, two of swords is here, moon and Libra. Some of you guys could be torn between something. You could be evaluating something. You may, you know, you're looking at something, but you're not really putting the work in because I did see that eight of pentacles in reverse. Y'all could have a tough decision to make. Somebody's heart could be closed off. Or somebody needs to go within. You may need to evaluate something so you can see what's something is, is trying to show you something or get your attention, but you need to go within to see this or to make this decision. Some of you guys need to take your time in making a decision. Don't just jump into something because you may end up getting stuck in a contract. That's not good. What's the King of Cups with the Four of Pentacles in the lens? Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. The shape shifting bitch. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, July Cancer, July Leo. Yeah, uh, the hangman, a sacrifice. You can have a child with this person for some of y'all. And if not, it's something about your inner child. Yeah, something, there's a shift in perspective that's needed. Pisces energy. You can have Pisces in your chart or this person does, possibly. Yeah, this King of Wands in reverse. Something's going on with this person's sexuality. This person is very tyrannical. They're, they could have been physically abusive, mentally, verbally abusive. They could have even been really obsessed with you. Yeah, somebody needs to... What's this King of Wands in, in reverse? Okay, Six of Swords is here. Nine of Wands in reverse. November Sag, November Scorpio, Two of Cups in reverse. Venus in Cancer. Six of Swords here, Mercury and Aquarius. This person is a coward. I, I just... And this person could be really passive. This person is trying to be, somebody is trying to buy time or be nice. They don't want you to, they don't want you to let them go or end something. I was going to say Virgo. You can have Virgo in your chart or you could be a Virgo with Libra placements or you're dealing with somebody that does. But it's something this person is trying to get you to, they're trying to hang on to you for their life. Somebody could be feeling weak with that King of Wands in reverse. Burnt out, tired. 
What's this uh, Six of Swords here? Somebody doesn't want you to, yeah, okay, the, the fool here. Somebody's very detached. Aquarius, Aries energy. This person wants you to like be at a stalemate or be indecisive about cutting them off, putting an end to something, making changes, investing in yourself. Somebody is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. They think you're naive or this person is really naive and gullible. I just heard somebody's about to pass away. For so I can't get what's this fool here? What's the fool? Some of you guys could be trying to yeah, the hangman, a sacrifice. The hangman, look up the hangman. The hangman is about a sacrifice or making sacrifices. Page of Cups. Somebody could even be trying to somebody may even be into sacrificing kids. Or their inner child was sacrificed and compromised by somebody around them. I don't know. The hangman, Pisces, energy. There's a need to detach from something. Don't try to force anything. Don't be overly aggressive. For some of you guys, you're being overly aggressive or too passive. There needs to be a balance. You don't know which side of the spectrum you're on. With that page of swords in reverse, somebody's child could be on a spectrum or somebody's on a spectrum themselves. That King of Wands in reverse. Somebody's about to, somebody's about to be sacrificed on damn souls. What's this hangman? Well, that's about you guys needing to detach or let something go or let this person go. Or something about yourselves you're gonna have to detach and let go of. Because it could be causing disharmony within a connection. There could be a power imbalance. But between you and someone, or you and this person can't get on the same page. It's like, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? I'm getting for some of y'all. What's the hangman? Yeah, the ace of wands in reverse. Somebody here could could have something. Or they could be trying to give you something. There's something about energy, sexual energy, creativity. Somebody is, there's a challenge. Somebody's going to have to, like, surrender something. Or give somebody's gonna have to give up something that they've been doing for a long time, or holding on to, or someone mooning up, mooning Sag with the nine of wands. You have the judgment here. Ace, what's this ace of wands in reverse? Yeah, this. The star, somebody here could be sick. It could be that king of wands in reverse. They sacrifice themselves. Somebody's name could be Eli. here could be like jumping out the window or trying to commit suicide. Somebody's not right mentally. The star here, somebody feels in despair. They feel helpless. They, somebody may have something that they can't get rid of. They're going to just have to it, or the star in reverse Aquarius energy. Somebody feels some, it's something about somebody's energy. Somebody here is trying to siphon energy or make that the star in reverse Aquarius. You can have Aquarius in your chart. You're dealing with somebody that does. Or you could be in Aquarius with Libra placements. That's despair. That's someone being stuck in their south node. Okay, somebody here just has no inspiration, no creativity. They're trying to siphon your creativity, your energy through sex or being connected to you. Even just, even you reconciling with this person would give them a boost. You need to cut this person out fully. Somebody here could be sick. They're into spirit. Their chakras are fucked up. Somebody, somebody got somebody was somebody let themselves be sacrificed for money or for fame or for whatever. 
somebody what they want you to dim your light now i have the pentacles in reverse uh i just heard november but anyways y'all need to listen to that song by jay-z and kanye west called ham because that song is playing i'm channeling that song is being channeled it's called ham h-a-m by kanye west and jay-z Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, Virgo Leo energy. Heavy Leo here and heavy Virgo. Somebody can have a pet that's sick. Okay, so check on your pets. Somebody's pet could be really reckless, really, you know, they climb on stuff, or it could be somebody's child. They, you know, be careful to like pets falling off boats or children, you know, just for yourself. Just be really careful, especially around water and uh, pools and stuff like that. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody here could be a deadbeat with that Emperor in reverse and a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So y'all, y'all could be feeling tired, if, if, and this is part of the sacrifice. They need you to feel depleted so they can feel energized. It's like when one is up, the other is down. It's like it's a situation like that. So anytime you're up, anytime you're good, this person is sick. They don't have no energy. They're in despair. There could be a shadowed wish or hope with that star in reverse. Somebody here could be being pessimistic. I also feel like somebody is lazy or they're trying to put you in this lazy energy. You need to fight fight that off. If you have something that you need to do, you need to you need to um push through it. That's part of the sacrifice here too. Or that's part of you needing to give up procrastination. What's resolving issues? Solving inner conflict with others, healing past trauma, what's resolving issues? Yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, you can resolve issues by setting boundaries. Mars and Leo. What's resolving issues? Yeah, three of wands. Aries energy. Some of y'all need to... You could be dealing with somebody at a distance. Somebody could be forming... Okay, um, somebody could be stuck overseas somewhere or stuck. Somebody's like stuck in a portal. I, I don't, I, I just, I keep, I'm getting that a lot too. Seven of one. The first reading that came out in for me was Aquarius's reading months ago, two or three months ago. So, I just, what's this? And you know, we have this Pluto in Aquarius right now. So, what's this? And we have Saturn in Aquarius too, I believe, right? Is it? Or is it, I don't know, Seven of Wands? Yeah, the temperance in reverse. Y'all need to do a return to sender. Every time you set boundaries or block somebody out your energy, they get sick. Temperance in reverse. You, you need to uh, set boundaries. Sagittarius energy. Somebody, somebody has a really bad temper. Or somebody trying to put you out of balance and get you on the wrong path. Somebody trying to put you... Somebody wants to... Somebody is then trying to antagonize you or agitate you, Libra. You need to be really careful. Time for some reverse. Yeah, four wands. Somebody here could even be, you may need to get a restraining order on this person so they can't come anywhere near you. Venus and Aries here. <laughs> What's this four wands? Yeah, nine of wands, moon and Sagittarius. What's the nine of wands? Yeah, eight of swords is here, Jupiter and Gemini. Somebody's trying to play victim. They could even be trying to, uh, somebody here could be trying to put you at odds with family members, or this could be someone in your family. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, somebody is confused. They're, they, 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 somebody don't know if they're coming or going. Somebody here could be under that. Somebody here could smoke a lot or they do some type of substance that has their mind, their brain, their thought process. It, somebody's reality is thrown off. Somebody here could be, uh, somebody could be having post-traumatic stress syndrome or post-traumatic stress disorder. Three of Wands. Somebody may have to go overseas, like if they're in the military or for work. A Five of Pentacles in reverse. Saturn, I mean, Mercury and Taurus. A lot of you guys are coming out of some type of financial lack and uh, poverty. You're turning your back on something or you need to. Some of y'all need to get out your head. Nine of Wands in reverse. You're very resilient. You're almost at the finish line of something. Don't give up now. Yeah, you're about to close something out. Don't give up now with the world and the Ten of Swords. You're right there. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Jupiter and Pisces. Somebody overindulges. Somebody needs to, like, somebody needs, somebody is in denial that they need help. Somebody has an addiction. Sex, drinking, smoking, substance, some type of control. You know, they could be narcissistic. It's something here. Somebody's in denial about it. What's this nine of cups in reverse? There's a wish that's not gonna be, yeah. It's a it's like somebody's never satisfied. High priestess, cancer, Pisces energy. What's this high priestess? Somebody needs to sober up so they can access their intuition. High priestess, somebody's ten of cups. Somebody here could have had a child with a mistress. Somebody could have got their mistress pregnant. Mars and Pisces. Yeah, that could be what's coming out. There's gonna be a broken home, a broken generation. Somebody broke generation by doing something. Or they broke some type of tradition. There's a high priestess in someone's family. Or you're a high priestess. What's this ten of cups? Yeah, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles, moon and Taurus. Six of Wands, Six of Swords here. You could be seeing 666. Gemini got 666. Oh, shit. What's the number? Oh, damn. Gemini had a lot of number synchronicities. I made a mistake and deleted the old paper. The Devil. Capricorn Energy. Something about a contract for some of you guys. Somebody could be trying to destiny swap. They think that's a solution. They, somebody thinks a solution to their problem is to try to destiny swap. Somebody may have to give to two different families or or something like that. Somebody is greedy. Somebody is somebody is very greedy. What's this uh, six of pentacles? Yeah, the page of wands. I'm saying something about your energy, your creativity. Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the hair will find in reverse. Taurus energy, the world hair, Saturn energy. We got Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio energy. Some of y'all could be seen in the public eye. You could be influencers or you could have a platform. That hair will find in reverse. Somebody's obsessed with power. This could be like a false priest or priestess. Somebody's root chakra is out of balance with that Hierophant and the and the um the emperor. The Hierophant and the Emperor rule the root chakra. That's about our foundation. That happens through conception up into the age of seven. So again, somebody something could have happened with somebody's somebody here could have been lost a twin. Okay, maybe somebody was supposed to be a twin or supposed to have twins for some of you guys. Or someone could be a twin. But um, somebody's uh, parental figure could have been doing, uh, could have had addictions while pregnant. It's, it affected somebody or it's, it affected a child. Page of Wands is like somebody here, could, somebody here could be a paid athlete. 
you could be getting um, compensated for like something creative that you're doing, but you're gonna, it could be something spiritual, but you're gonna make sure you're balancing your spirituality and your practicality. Because with the Herald font in reverse and the high priest is upright, y'all could be really spiritual, but maybe you're a little, somebody here could be a little out of touch with reality or ungrounded. Somebody here is abusing religion though, or spirit, some type of spirituality like divination or religion. Somebody is somebody wanted you to conform to some type of outdated way of thinking, or somebody has some type of distorted beliefs. What's this hero font in reverse? Yeah, somebody could be going through a divorce. Yeah, the strength here. Somebody is, yeah. Somebody needs to have the courage to go against the grain. And I think it's you. You can have Leo in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sag, March, Pisces, March, Aries. Yeah, your confidence. Yeah, somebody's like, somebody here could be doing, it's a lot of shit here. Queen of Wands, the Devil, the Queen of Pentacles. This could be a couple that do this. There's an entity. Somebody's like, look at this devil. Don't, don't, don't they look scary? Somebody can have light eyes. Somebody can have a beard. They could be really, somebody here could be really athletic. They can use their sex appeal to get things from people. They do something. Somebody's holding on to some type of distorted belief. Somebody's obsessed with power. Somebody likes uh, um, with this with uh, it's something weird here. Also, I feel like somebody thinks that spirituality or church can solve their problems, but they need to go see a therapist or a psychiatrist. Let's get some oracle messages. Eat healthy, eat healthful foods. So you could be needing to change your diet, Libra. Eat only the foods that are good for you. Perhaps this is something you normally do, in which case you should feel very good about how well you're caring for yourself. Most people, however, know that they should be more attentive to this area, but find it difficult. Your goal to practice healthy nutrition. Somebody here could, uh, something with that nine of cups in reverse, somebody can have an eating disorder. Somebody thinks that maybe if they look, somebody has like some type of weird obsession with their image, how they look, but they really need help emotionally and mentally. do less today's lesson assess your level of doing for others examine whether you overextend yourself to the point that you become unnecessarily exhausted why is that your health why is that is your health worth it your goal to confront your core reason for risking your health unnecessarily so somebody here could be like a people pleaser codependent they need to always you know somebody could have codependency issues they always they always play victim they always play martyr they want to be seen as like a person who goes through so much and everything is just, oh my God, and woe is me. And you got to be careful with people like that. Very dangerous. You could be seeing 10, 10 on the clock, 10 of cups, uh, 10 of wands. One more. Rely on yourself. Today's lesson, look at the issue of dependency. Do you rely upon others to do what you should be doing for yourself? Healing is a solo endeavor. And while we all need support during this process, ultimately the task of self-empowerment rests with us. Your goal to identify and modify the ways in which you release personal responsibility to others. Yeah, these are not your burdens to carry. There's a person or people that wanna always come in your energy put their burdens on you, deplete you so they can feel good again. It's like, you're like this to these, you're this to a particular person or people. They need your energy. You're somebody's supply. You're somebody's best supply. Let go of resentment. Today's lesson, acknowledge one resentful feeling you need to release and keep in mind that all types of resentment are poison and harm the healing process. Your goal, to become mindful of your reasons for staying angry and to begin letting go of negative feelings by the end of the day. 
So again, you may need to release some type of resentment, Libra. You guys are ruled by justice. So, you know, fairness is very important to you guys. And when you guys feel like something was unfair to you, it could be hard for you guys to let it go. And I get it. I'm a Scorpio moon, tropical, but in side real astrology and Vedic astrology, I'm a Libra moon. So I can hold on to stuff too, because I, I don't like, I'm such a fair person. I'm such an honest person. I, I, I have such integrity that when the opposite is being done to me or when people show me the opposite, it could be hard for, it, it takes me a minute to let go. But you don't want to become a sacrifice by holding on to this energy. Because then it makes it easy for people in your past. It, it makes it easy for you to allow people back in your energy. Because when you hold on that resentment, you're hoping and wishing for them to do things differently. So you're more likely to let them back in subconsciously for that reason. And then they come in and steal up all your good energy again. And you're left feeling bitter, resentful. And you got to start the process of healing and releasing all over again. Don't let it happen. Okay? Yeah. But um, just work on your procrastination. Some of you guys may need to uh, work out more, eat more, eat healthier foods. Don't compare yourself to others. And balance your spirituality and your practicality. So make sure you are doing, make sure you're being practical. You're thinking practically and you're doing things that are practical and make sure you're putting your ideas into action. Make sure you're balancing your yin and your yang energies. There could be a hormonal thing too with your yin and yang energies as well that could need to be balanced out. Some y'all need to, uh, I'm hearing something about cardio or fitness. Some y'all may need to work out more or yeah. Somebody here is also trying to pay somebody to reach out to you or do something to you and, and, or sexually or something. So be mindful of that um, for some of you. They, they, keep, they, they want you to be stuck in the past. They want you to be back and forth and they, they want to be in and out, off and on. It's like, no. Mm -mm. Don't let anybody from your past back in. I mean, you can do what you want, but it's just going to set you back and derail you. They know you have something coming in, and if they can come back in, it's, it's, it's going to stall everything. No. Keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right track. Um, you may need, it may be time to try something new. You can have a spiritual gift, that a new gift that you're honing in on. Okay. I just feel like somebody here could be is trying to get pregnant. I'm, I'm hearing something about a boy. I'm hearing a boy. It's just I'm hearing all types of crazy shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm hearing all types of like crazy stuff. It's a lot of spiritual warfare going on out here. So, you know, stay prayed up. Protect your energy. Some of y'all could be feeling nauseous. I was just fine. I'm, I didn't feel nauseous until I got on this reading. So something about your solar plexus. Somebody's trying to attack. Your energy make you tired, lethargic, lazy. No, you need to, even if it means doing one little thing at a time, do what excites you. For those of you who've been having fertility issues, that's going to get resolved. All right, do a return to sender. I said this in your last reading to do a return to sender too, but this was your reading, Libra. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.